That's C Mac. His new single called Fake Love. Power 1017, the hottest music. It's a Bill and Jessica show. Good morning. It's going to be cloudy today, high of 62. We're also going to have some periods of rain throughout the day as well. Yeah, uh, talking about fake love, you know, you'd rather have, uh, you know, the hate than the fake love. Is that? It's it. I, I feel like those are feelings that are easier to navigate. I, I prefer to know what it is. You know, um, mm-hmm. I spent a lot of my adult life, not, not even just career, you know what I mean? Uh, I won't say afraid, but just not into making enemies. And yeah. I, I, what I've learned over the years is that there's no fear in that. Is there's a there's a level of strength in the ability to be like, yeah, I can I can plant my feet and draw my line in the sand and say this is where I stand and that's where you stand. That's cool. Like I prefer it to be that way than the, you know. What I mean the. I look at you as one of the one of one of the OGs, but yeah. one, one of the like. Like there's different tiers, I guess, yeah. of uh, artists that come from this area yeah. that I, I've met and you know worked with and dealt with over the years, yeah. and you're like one of the ones on top. Yeah. Like th- there's a couple yeah. that, that you know that I can just right away if somebody says, "Hey, I want to book an artist from the Eastern Shore, who to get?" Right. You know, and right away, C Mac. Yeah. Right away, Fever the General. Yep. Right away, Sizzy Stacks. Yep. You know, I, I, and, and that's just a couple yeah. of the ones that come to mind right away. A and D. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Artists, artists, booking he artists. Says he's not sure yeah. if he's stage ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I'm just saying, like you're you're on that, you know, yeah. on that level, and and so that's definitely not fake love. I just want to let you know. Nah, 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 for sure. I'm about to say we we, so. we spent years cultivating these types yeah. of relationships, and I, and I'm grateful for them. For and you sure. didn't you win our power voice? I did. Uh, yeah, I was. yeah, years I was. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite a few years ago, we had a big contest. Yep. If you guys can remember, and uh, you know we. Ended up uh, was that it? Like that twenty thousand yeah. dollar prize. I, 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 uh, we had, we had, there's a couple extra thousands on there, but yeah. No. I, I will say, I will say, uh, Christmas was nice that weekend. I mean, that that year, Christmas is definitely good that year. Thanks, for, thanks to you guys. Did we give that away? Was that at Mr. Bananas? Yep. Hey, wow. Yep. We had Man. a spot down in Dags, bro. I miss that wow, spot. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, it was. Was I enjoyed, I enjoyed myself. Yeah. So, all right. So, Hoops on the Ave. Yep. Um, you got a new album, new uh, single. We love it. Hoops on the Ave. Big yep. event coming up. Uh, give us a rundown. Tell us what it's all about. So, what we did in 2019 with uh with Mizzle Fest was basically we encompassed a bunch of different ideas of things that we wanted to do. Uh, we did a basketball tournament. We did an art space for the children. We did a music concert, and, and it was a huge success. We were super proud of it. And um, like I said, things took place in the world, and we kind of found ourselves at, back at ground zero, We're just trying to figure out, well, how do we move forward from here? Um, the relationship with Y Comico County Parks and Rec kind of manifested itself through our work with them uh, right. for, at uh, Governor's Challenge, and we came up with Hoops on the Ave. Hoops on the Ave is all those ideas that we had before and even more and even bigger. So what we're doing is a huge three-on-three basketball tournament, um, a huge concert that I'll be performing at. Make sure you're there. Nice. Uh, we're going to do a sneaker, a sneaker space where people can buy, trade, and sell sneakers, uh, art space for the children, a bunch of different kids' activities. We have, uh, I think, some uh, STEM program uh, spaces that, for the kids to kind of you know expand their minds and uh, in that arena, and uh, we're just super excited about it. I think the basketball tournament is going to draw uh, the people, the community of the people of the community that are like really into the sports aspect, the people that are really into the music aspect, the people that are really into the art aspect. We want to make this, you know, we want to make this thing as huge as possible. And it's like just taking those ideas of what we've done in the past and just pouring rocket fuel on them and just really, you know, blowing them up as big as we can. You and A&D always put together, like, events like this, yeah. and it's just it's just awesome. It's I, I mean, it's just great because nobody else is doing that. Yeah. Nobody else is putting together an event where, you know, it's just all about the culture of hip-hop yeah. and, you know, the, the, like, the NBA, sports, yeah. um, stuff that – you know, people love, but there's nowhere to get that all in one place. Yep. You know, so that was, that was really that was really what it's about. And when we the inception of our foundation, which is what we partner with Wicombo County Parks and Rec through uh, the Mizzle House Foundation, that's what it's based in and around. Um, just really presenting uh, art and culture to people that may not either have access to it or know about what it encompasses in a in a in a way in a manner that's educational and not. So that people that are introduced to things such as hip hop, they're not introduced 
through the lens of the stigma that you know what i mean that the media gives it we, we present it in a way that is digestible for everybody and everybody can take it in and everybody can see what it is that we enjoy about it and we love and um and just sharing that with everybody especially the youth because that's the important part we were just talking off the air about one of the first events that we all uh did together was urban arts fest yeah. that was in salisbury that was a great event uh you guys have had other events you know uh also as well um and now you got the one hoops on the app coming up this yeah, weekend man, we're uh so it's saturday this saturday at May the 28th, wicomico at, civic center at, at the civic center in the parking lot we got the whole thing blocked off um yeah, ten to eight, and it's free. So it's for okay. for, for families. And it's children. free. You it's just absolutely free. Really? Wow. Don. Yep, that was That's very wonderful. important for us to also make it accessible to everybody. Nice. Yep, so nice. And all ages. All ages, all ethnicities, all abilities, disabilities. If you've got wheelchairs, everybody wheelchair access. Everybody. Can yeah. <laughs> so yeah. That's what it's all about. That's and you're going to be performing at what time? I will be performing at 5:45. Okay. Right before, the, right before the championship game. Any so. other? So, okay. So how are you as far as the teams go? How are uh, like how does that go? Do so people sign up, or yeah, you already have, have them set? Most of the teams are already set. I think we had. So there's different divisions. We have an elite men's division. Okay. We have a rec men's division. We have a rec women's division. Uh, high school division and okay. then down. So like even the youngest kids, the youngest kids have theirs, their time and their tournament early in the morning from uh, ten. They're gonna the, the games are gonna start around ten. Okay. So like the young kids are gonna play early in the day, and the elite men's and men's divisions are gonna play later in the day, and the elite men's and women's championship is gonna be after my performance. Because you know I'm all about these tournaments. <laughs> <laughs> I know all about organizing know, these tournaments. So. Okay. Oh uh, yeah. So we do have we do have spots in the tournament for more women's teams. Okay. And there's a five hundred dollar uh, cash prize for that tournament. And, oh. And we have spots in the kids tournament as well. Nice. And, and it's yeah the it's, elite men's they they they're, they're all filled right now. Okay. Yeah. We got we got pro players coming. We got players that are going into the draft. Pro this year players come. coming. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Man, wow. I wish I could ball. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that, and then that's going to be going all day, the tournaments. Yep, yep, 10 to 8. All right, again, all goes down. Wicomico Civic Center in Salisbury. Uh, <laughs> what's going on over there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, 10 to 8. Uh, make sure to come on out. Um, I think my son works till 4, so we're, we might head out right after that. Yeah. Uh, but, no, great time. Looking forward yep. to it. You're going to be performing around 5, 5.30? Yep, yep. All I'm right, here. very good. Five five forty five, right before the championship game. So. Well, look, guys, again, congratulations Thank on you so everything. Much, the album, the single, yeah. the event, hoops on the Ave. If yeah. people want more information, uh, how can they find it? Uh, you can go to Wicomico County Parks and Rec's website. Um, they have all the details there. Um, follow me on social media, C Mac Mizzle everywhere. Facebook's Charlie Mac Mizzle. Uh, we'll be posting more details leading up to the event for the rest of the week. So just stay, you know, stay tuned in what we got going on. DZ, when are we going to be able to see all this uh, great footage you got going on here? Come, <laughs> <laughs> Put him so, on the spot. So he said, Bill, when Bill, you get, now you know about editing. When you get your money right. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you'll see it. <laughs> get your money. Guys, thank you so much for you coming out. for having time. me. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's 8.56. Power 101.7, the hottest music station.